it is going to be a hot one today all right well i'm out in the woods today and i wanted to do the continuing series of budget bushcraft and what i've done today is i've brought out a what i consider a very budget friendly backpack for bushcrafting and, and day hiking and or whatever and then also I'm um, also bringing out a budget cook kit that was covered in another video and just kind of showing how that's working and, and some things I've done with it. And then I'm going to make a quick uh, batch of coffee and some breakfast today. Um, it is scorching hot out. The humidity is crazy. But um, I'm going to be out here in the woods working for you guys because I enjoy it. So anyway, let's get into it. <clears throat> So the backpack I wanted to show you guys is this. This is the, um, the Shiamak, and it's a, a Russian military surplus backpack. And this thing, this design has been around in Russian military surplus, um, I believe, since before World War II. Um, it is a very old design. It is a very simple design, and it's, uh, you know, constructed um, like most Russian things. It is constructed very well. Um, very inexpensively and it's very simple it is not uh, a very complex backpack and um, I think a lot of guys gravitate towards this thing because it is so simple um, plus it has a very vintage look to it and it's inexpensive I mean you can find these things uh, through military surplus and various online retailers uh, under $25 I think um, sometimes cheaper so it just depends on where you get them at um, so the concept of this bag really is very similar to those string backpacks that you see kids wearing today to school uh, it is a, a simple gunny sack with straps sewn to it and then these straps are your backpack straps and then what you do is you hook that around the top here to, to close it up and that's it um, it does have a, a button pocket on the front which is pretty decent size um, but <laughs> there's not much to it and I'm going to show you how to tie this thing and untie it and how we get into it so stay tuned Okay, so the way the way this backpack works is you have the basic gunny sack, which is pretty good size. And as you can see in the video already, I got a lot of stuff in this thing. Um, I think it's really a good idea to put some kind of padding on it. So my kneeling pad goes in the back. that's going to go against my back and then you can just throw in all your gear all right so got some 
stuff in there. It's not full. It's not everything I brought, but it'll do for the demonstration. So then you either cinch this up with this string. This doesn't cinch up very well because it's kind of a, it's almost like a jute twine. It doesn't do a really good job of cinching. Really, I need to go in there and replace that cord with paracord and put a cord lock on it. That'll improve it considerably. And then you take the strap, make a loop, and then what you're going to do is you're going to reach in through that loop and you're going to pull and you're going to create basically just a slip knot. See that? So let's do that again. So you got your strap, make a loop, reach in, open up that loop. Now to keep that loop and not lose it, keep it on your wrist. So when you're packing your bag, you can have it on your wrist like this, filling the sack, gathering it, and then pulling it tight. And now you have backpack straps. The other nice feature on this, it does actually have a sternum strap, which surprised me um, that it, they actually thought that out, but um, it's a very crude shoulder or a sternum strap. It's a kind of a brass buckle type thing, probably pressed steel or aluminum. I'm not sure what it is. But I'm, I'm actually able to wear this thing comfortably and, you know, uh, I'm a big dude and um, it fits me just fine. What I like about this backpack is um, the ability just to throw up stuff in it and go. Um, but also this is small enough and lightweight enough that I could throw this in a larger backpack. So if I get to camp and I want to scout around and I want to collect some stuff or I want to go out for a hike but I want to be away from my camp and I don't want to carry the big backpack that I brought into camp, this could be my foraging scouting bag. Um, and it's not really going to take up a lot of room in my backpack. I could, you know, fill it with clothes. I could put my sleeping bag in it, whatever, and put that inside of a larger backpack and then pull this out when I get to camp. So I think it's really useful that way. Um, other features on this thing is it has uh, side straps. Now, the original intention, I believe, of these side straps is to secure a bedroll. So what the, a Russian soldier would do is they'd have a blanket roll they turn it into a horseshoe and they pass it through the sets of straps on the side so then the blanket roll goes around the pack right but it, you know it's definitely these straps are big enough that you could probably secure a hatchet an axe tripod for your camera um, you know any number of items so it's definitely useful in that regard um, but you know the whole point of this video series on budget bushcraft is that you don't have to have tons of money to go out and do this stuff and there's lots of great options out there military surplus is full of them um, you just have to look and um, you know my suggestion is always stay away from the stuff that is military like uh, Rothko does a, a lot of stuff like that it's all made in overseas in China it's very cheaply made, um, but it's military-like. It's not military surplus. It's not actual issue. So look for real military issue stuff. And stuff from foreign countries, um, in particular Eastern Bloc and uh, parts of Europe, is very traditional looking, usually canvas and leather and uh, items like that. So if that's the look you're going for, um, a lot of people like that traditional look for their bushcraft gear you know this kind of stuff is great all right let's talk about this so this is the hobo stove um, that I put together using a soup can actually that's a stewed tomato can and then I drilled some holes in it uh, for tent steaks and then the pot I'm using is the Stanley adventure cook set which this thing is boiling see the steam coming out she's ready to go
What I did on this one is I actually take, there's a plastic tab on this. I took that plastic tab off and um, I put a, a D ring key ring on it, which I cannot grab now. And the set comes with two of these plastic cups. So really um, inexpensive set. It's, my gosh, I think it's, I th I've seen it under $20. I've seen them go as low as 15 or 16 bucks. So we're gonna heat up that water again. So I'm gonna make some breakfast in that. There's my coffee water, but this, so right there, that's a really inexpensive setup, cheap. And what I'm going to do to that ramen, I'm going to add an egg. So that makes it breakfast ramen. And spam. I think that makes it breakfast ramen too, so. And hot sauce. I brought hot sauce. All right. Get that fire stoked up. A little egg drop soup. Frank's Red Hot. Okay, so we're in the the Russian backpack right now, the Vashiamuk. Vashiamuk. I don't have a ton of weight in it, it's probably only it's probably under five pounds, I guess. Um, and that's probably all I'd want to do with something like that. So it does a pretty good job of pulling the straps away and off your shoulder blades. Goes around my chest pretty well. I'm really starting to dig this pack. It's just, it's something different. It's lightweight. It is comfortable. It forces you to kind of really consider what you're going to put in it and not overload it. So for maybe a summer pack in a foraging bag, it's perfect. Um, I don't think I need much more. Um, it's a little weird not having water bottle pockets on the side. I'm not used to that, but I can hang, hang canteens off the side with those straps if I want to, and I can strap of course an axe or a tomahawk to the side too so that's an advantage over a lot of packs um, that I've used but uh, I think it's I think it's a great little woods pack and if you're looking for something inexpensive I think it's a great way to go so all right guys I'm going to get out of here. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.